Hey everybody, Jeff Williams here with sjeffwilliams.com. Okay, <laughs> today um, I'm gonna do a video on gold panning. I had a couple guys out there ask me, Jeff, when you're out gold panning, how exactly do you do it? And that one guy from Norway sent me a video, 44 minutes long, showing me how he gold panned. And uh, he said he was losing a lot of the gold out of his pan. He wanted to know how I did it. So I'm gonna show you what I do when I'm out sampling in the wild or I'm in the desert or whatever. I uh, brought along my trusty dusty super sluice gold pan and I'm going to show you how I do it and hopefully uh, this will help all you guys out there who are gold panning, who are new to it or maybe some of you guys who are seasoned veterans and they just want a few extra little tips on how you gold pan. So I'm going to show you how I do it and hopefully it helps. So here we go. Phew. Okay. Ah. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do, obviously, is you gotta get yourself a really, really good gold pan. Step one. All right, and in my particular years of experience, I've noticed out of all the gold pans I've ever used, uh, the Garrett Super Sluice, which is this guy right here, is one of the best gold pans I've ever used. Why? Well, for starters, see these two big old riffles right here? I mean, look how deep that is. Ain't no gold getting out of there. That's fantastic. It's got these little ridges on the back for your fingers, so you can hold on to it and your hands don't get fatigued and pan all day long ain't gonna worry about slipping off and fatiguing. Um, it's got a nice wide bottom here on the on the base so that way the gold has a chance to settle out while you're stratifying the material. So that's about three reasons why I like it. Now there's a fourth reason behind this pan. Believe it or not if you live out in desert or arid areas you can actually use this to dry pan. I'm not gonna show you how to do that today but Dry panning is good if you have absolutely no water. This pan will work, and I've done it, so I know it will. So, get yourself a good gold pan. Garrett Super Sluice. Okay, when you get a pan, you're gonna get a class bar that comes with it. Very important, the two go together, just like that. Okay, next, gotta have a digging tool. Gotta have a spoon, gotta scoop that stuff out with something. Snuffer bottle. I cannot emphasize this enough for you prospectors out there. Because when you get the gold in your pan and it's too small to pick out with your fingers, you got to suck it out with a snuffer bottle. And for some of you more experienced prospectors, a little jeweler's, jeweler's loop. I know, I said that wrong. Anyway, the reason being is because sometimes you're going to see really tiny fine pieces of color in your pan. And you're not going to be sure exactly what it is. And you're going to get one of these guys out so you can take a look in there and, oh yeah, that's a piece of gold. So that way you know you're on the right trail. So. When you get all those things together, let me know. Okay. So, now you gotta go get your material. That is where sampling comes in. You gotta sample all the drops. Now, we're out here where there's a lot of water. See all this? So, you, what you wanna do is you wanna get to where there's some drops. I got a nice waterfall here. During flood stage, nice places to trap gold here and here, all around in this area. See these tree roots right here? good spot to trap gold. All is stuck in here. So, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to get our material out and we're going to dig in these traps. Okay, so, after you fill your pan up, uh, about three quarters full, you got your classifier on top, you're gonna submerge that in the water, break those clumps up, like such. Uh. Classify that material down. It's easier when it's in the water. And yeah, you're gonna get wet. Okay. Now, pan's got a little hole in it right here. You're gonna have that hole face your stomach like that. That way the riffles are out here. Okay, so what are you gonna do? You're gonna submerge your pan and you're just gonna gently rotate it like this. And what you're doing is you're stratifying that material. 
and you can shake it back and forth. And you're slowly going to let that material flow out. Get some more water in there. All that lighter stuff comes right out. Stratify. Tilt it forward. Gently let it flow out. Back and forth. Shake it forward. Gently run it out. You're going to keep doing that. Circular motion. Stratify it. Back and forth. And what you're doing is you're concentrating that heavier material down. Just like that. And then, once you got so much material there, you can do it with one hand. I'm gonna shake that back and forth. Stratify it, gently wash the material out, bring that material back into the pan, rotate it back and forth, shake, wash, gently. Bring it back, rotate it, stratify it, tilt, shake, gently let those heavies Stay in the bottom while the lighter stuff flows over the edge. And you just keep doing it nice and easy. Like such. Just gently wash it out. And when you have just a little bit of material left in your pan, get some fresh water. Tap it a couple times with the palm of your hand. Okay, so let's see if I can show this to you without falling into water. So what you're going to do is you're going to slowly roll that water in the pan. See that? And just washing that material. And if you have any gold, like you see there, see that flower gold in there? That really super fine gold right there? If you have any gold, it's going to be right there. Just like that. You can kind of shake it down, see if you got anything if you're doing a quick uh, sample pan. And then tap it on the top here. And it gets that gold to walk all the way to the top. Just like that. Now take a look at that. It's not a lot, but you can see a little bit of fine, fine gold right up in there, right up in the crease of the pan. I don't know if that Maybe if I tilt that for you, you can see that better. There you go. See that? Yeah. A little bit of gold in there. It's that really super fine flower gold. Anyway, then, what you do is you grab your trusty dusty stuffer bottle. This guy right here, tilt it forward, push all the air out, and then you suck up all your gold, just like that. Just like a little miniature vacuum cleaner. Got your gold out of there. And if you're good enough, you can actually use a snuffer bottle to wash away the black sands. And that way it leaves the gold behind. And then you just sucker it all up. And then, all your gold is in here. And you can take it back to the house or do whatever. Don't forget about it. And then dump this into a glass vial. And then I'll show you how to do that on another video. So, I hope that's explained how you're supposed to use a gold pan, at least that's how I use it, with a snuffer bottle. Um, there's other different techniques out there, tons of them, but that's the one that I've seen that works best for me, and I haven't lost any gold yet, I hope not. Anyway, I hope this has explained stuff, especially to uh, the gentleman out in Norway who's having a tough time trying to figure out how to use a gold pan. So, until next time, this has been Jeff Williams with AskJeffWilliams.com saying I hope there's gold in everybody's pan. See ya.